Well, good morning from the Adventure Bike Riders Festival and got my first ride out on none other than the Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Now this is the first time I'm going off-road so I'm just saying that I'm a little bit nervous but um, I've been assured that we'll be okay. Um, three quarters of an hour's time we'll find out won't we so there's about 14 of us going out I think so it should be interesting so I'm just getting myself ready let me get my gloves on so yeah there's definitely an air of excitement here for this to uh, to go so yeah there they all are so let's climb on and uh, oh look a load of new toilets coming excellent right so I've just turned the ABS off and uh, yeah I'm a little bit nervous I must say however um, I think it's going to be quite exciting so we're just waiting for the the flag to drop and we'll be away no. just look down the line yeah this one does it as well if you notice the time is um, it's a 24 hour clock and the problem with it it resets to 12 hours out so here's the boys coming through they're still coming through so just waiting now looks like we've got a full tank of fuel anyway certainly felt like it when I picked it up Let's see if it does it on this yeah There's the road riders going off. So I think the, the road rides are going first. Yeah, Continental GTs. A Scram 411. Two Himalayans going out. A Shotgun 650. An Interceptor. Me? <laughs> so get up on the pegs do the star get on the pegs so this is it oh, I'm out in front <laughs> does that mean I can be the first to fall over <laughs> We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, so I'll turn the ABS off. So it's five mile an hour down here. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope that we don't fall off. Let's hope that we can cope. I've got no, no mirrors, so it's a bit like racing, isn't it? Where if you've got no mirrors, you don't see what's behind you. So all you've got to do is worry about what's in front of you. Yeah, so we're keeping down to five mile an hour at the moment. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit concerning not having mirrors. But there again, if you fall off you only break them, so try not to fall off is the uh, the answer to that so this is the, the same way that we went out yesterday so unfortunately yesterday um, the battery in the camera wasn't playing the game so we're on the, the slippery stuff here
the campsite is starting to really fill up now I mean they are expecting uh, about 15,000 tickets that they've sold for this event which is uh, amazing which is brilliant when you last year there was 12,000 and uh, yeah last year was so much fun I didn't do any test rides yes I did last year I test rode the uh, uh, the Ducati Multistrada Rally so uh, oh here we go this is going on to the off road bit so let's try not to fall over rest of the guys are here so it looks like they uh, set them off in groups or these are all the the people that do their own thing so I'm going to let the let the film run and then uh, maybe I'll edit out bits and pieces after the event so hopefully the battery will last for the whole thing So, yeah, it's a bit of a bum fight here at the moment. So, yeah. So let's uh, let's have a look, see what's going on. Just following through. Right, this is it, we're on the off-road trail. I guess they're just watching to see that they're all coming through. Hey! <laughs> now, I am crapping myself. I've never done this sort of thing before, so, uh, yeah. Just trying to keep up with this guy, hopefully because it's not wet it's not too slippery he says so uh, yeah hey, come on get that there you go come on hey. <laughs> oh. yeah I'm glad I'm doing it on their bike and on mine <laughs> Yeah, I suppose there's an advantage being at the front because he's taking his time making sure that everybody else is coming along <laughs> so they haven't given us any tips on what to do <laughs> so I guess we're going downhill just look out for what's going on <laughs> Oh, this is bumpy. So I did last year when I was camped. Uh, part of this track was um, which way are we going? Are oh, we going straight along? So uh, I actually filmed guys that were. Like, I wasn't feeling up to doing it myself last year, but yeah. Oh, big dip. Yeah. 
following. I guess this is where we're going to do a figure of eight. So far, I've not had to use my brakes. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good old glove duck. God, this track is bumpy. This track is quite bumpy, to say the least. But, I mean, let's face it, this Himalayan is making light work of it. So, here we go, another little jump. Oop. I think this is somewhere where I was camping last year, where I came over. Yeah. So there's a There's a track that comes down from the left here out of the woods and they used to come round here and they give it loads of beans yeah just just beyond that uh, gate I think it is yeah so it comes down out of the woods there and then they join here and they bung out to 30 mile an hour. Some of the boys were actually screaming along here. So, uh, yeah. So far I'm not enjoying it. Yeah, so uh, let's see what's going on. I think there's a definite advantage of being at the front of the queue. So, uh, yeah, oh, this looks a bit dodgy. Gravel. Oh, there's a mucky bit that was on about. Or well, one of them, I guess. Ooh, I'm glad this bike's got engine braking. It does make it a little bit easier to get around. Saves only put your foot on the brakes. <laughs> I have no idea of what is going on behind me. None whatsoever. Don't that I'm bothered, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing actually. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> Yeah, she just grunts through. I'm in second gear, by the way. Let's see how we get on here. Oh, this feels rough. It's like they've had a load of cows in it. It's like they've had a load of cows in it. Get around there. Yeah, it's properly, properly rough. 
So what I reckon's happened with this field, really. Oh, just head over there. Is that this field has probably been used for cattle and it's been wet. And the buggers, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm getting quite warm now. Yeah, don't want to be coming off at this sort of speed, that's for sure. Yeah, so where, where the field's been wet, I think what's happened is that the, uh, all the hoof prints have been making rage. Ooh, Yeah, let's try and get up with them. Yeah, try and concentrate. So, you can tell I'm new to this caper. Blimey, that was scary, <laughs> coming down off of there, I thought I was going to fall off. So here's the rest of the crowd, all coming down, making lots of dust. Yeah, so we're off again. Right, here we go. Yeah, look at that clever dick. So, where's this taking us now? Here we go then. So this is look a, looks a nice spot, but it's a well away from the heads and the cars and all that. So this is the manufacturer's test riding bit. So yeah. Just let a chug round this lot, I think. Uh, so, going up an hill. This should be fun. Come round and then give it some beans. Oh, big nasty bump at the top. It would have been nice to have a few people in front to see how they did it. I don't think I'll make a grass track racer somehow. There's the rest of the boys coming up, you see? Oh. I'm bloody exhausted already. Oh, now we've got to go down. This will be a challenge. Yeah. I don't know how these boys do it racing. Yeah, top tip, don't hit a tree. They hurt. Yeah, this is a, a challenging little track for me. Oop. Here's another thing that to uh, hurt if you come off and hit it. Oh, 
О, какой! I'm glad it's at the end of the beginning of the day and not the end of the day. I'd have been absolutely knackered at the end of the day. I'm not all that clever at the moment. I didn't have a great night's sleep, if I'm honest. Uh, couldn't get comfortable. But, here we go. I'm sweating like a, a sweaty thing at the moment. Yeah, we're we going straight through here. Oh. That's hard work, that. I'm sweating like a sweaty thing. <sighs> I don't know about you, but this this is fun. <laughs> I'm knackered. First time I've done this sort of thing. Can you can you tell? <laughs> Yeah, well I'm sweating, I'm despairing somewhat, here we go, we're off again. Oh. So that's it, we're, we're at it again. Oh this is blooming challenging going through these gaps. There's all the other boys, look. So I'm getting more boys in front of me now. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Yep. All the years I've been riding motorbikes. And I've never done much of this at all. Here we go up a, another slope. Give in and in beans. Yep. Oh. oh going down. Oop. Yeah, I'm not putting much commentary on it, I can hardly apologise. It's taking a lot of concentration at the moment. <laughs> Just working out where we're going. Oop. Don't eat the pegs. Hello. What's going on here then? Oh, what's the bike? Somebody's lost a water bottle. Bit more gravelly stuff. Yeah. So the boys are coming along. Oh, let's get around here. Try to catch up with these buggers. Yeah, it's a challenging old track for me, I can tell you. Some of these boys are naturals. Not me. 
mind you, having said that, she's a, she's a well capable little beastie. Another turn at the end here. God's truth. It's a right little rigdy route, this one. I don't know how all the other boys are doing. But, uh, yeah, for me, it's a, it's a right challenge. Oop. Nearly scared it. Yeah, I don't want to fall over, that's the trouble. I'm not interested in falling over because that means picking the bike up again. Well, where they gone now? I guess we follow the track. I guess we're going back down the hill. I don't know where they're gone. Oh, we're soon at the top of that hill. So we're going right here. So there you go, there's the rest of the lads coming up. Oh, they all seem to be doing all right. Oh, breathing heavy, I can tell you that. The heaviest is being breathed. Somebody's caught some flowers. So, is that the rest of our group down there? And we're off again. Right, getting amongst it again. Put that down. So, this is good. So, I've got some other people in front of me so I can see what they're doing. That's almost stood up, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So try not to run anybody over if they fall over. Oh, well, there's another Ducati rider in front. Yeah, so will I be doing some of this with Rummy? I don't know. Maybe I'll have a look at some green lanes somewhere. It won't be like this, obviously. That more gravelly stuff. Yep, down through the trees. Ooh. So, there you go. So it looks like we're going back onto the campsite, possibly, maybe. Oh, I don't know how long we've been, but I'm <laughs> fair tuckered out. That has been morning exercise. That has been quite a morning exercise. Oh. So it looks like we've come into the end of it and we're going back onto the campsite. Blimey, look at the, there's camper vans wall to wall. There's hundreds of them. Bikes coming in. I guess the gates just opened. For these people to to come and join the site now all we got to do is fight our way through this lot to get back uh, 
to the Enfield Dewberry What's It. So, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how many people are coming to this festival. And let me tell you, it is best festival for motorbikes by far in the UK. So, yeah, we just got find our way in and uh, yeah fight our way through the trees well that was 5.6 miles of off-roading um, that's what I set, reset the trip at the start of it and that's Basically, um, what we've done off road 5.6 miles off road, it feels like a hundred. <laughs> I feel absolutely exhausted. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to get us up to where we need to be. But, I hope you've enjoyed that little ride, my first proper off-road adventure. And I am sweating like a sweaty thing at the moment. That has been one bit of a challenge, I can tell you. Yeah, I might do the old green lane, but... Um, not sure I'm going to do that sort of off-roading it's uh, it's definitely a challenge look at all these camper vans blimey who'd have thought it eh? who'd have thought it looks like we're going on the grass again Get off the tarmac, mate, get on the grass. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of taking precedence over this lot because we're um we're a manufacturer's ride and they've got to get back for the next one. Oop. Uh, what we should have had is vests on. Yeah, so we get to jump the queue up here a bit because um, we're just taking the bikes back. Well, I I tell you what, I have enjoyed that. It's uh, got the old uh, pulse rate up a bit, to say the least. Boop. Yeah. But it's um, Ah, yeah, bugger. Right. 
Hey! He's still happy. Happy as Larry. He was on there all day yesterday. I was talking to him this morning. He's on from 7 till 7. Amazing. And he's still happy about it. So, uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's a ride back. So, uh, oh. Look at this tow rag. Thinks she owns the place. Well, that was something of a challenge. Don't drop it now, that's the, that's the thing, don't drop it now. 6.2 miles off-road and uh, yeah, what a challenge that was. And like mine, the time now is 21.34, which is actually 9.34. So we've been out for about half an hour. And that is one hell of a challenging little ride. For me, anyway. I don't know about the other guys, but for me, it was a test. <laughs>